Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be explaining the to call function available in the latest versions of Excel. This will help you combine data from multiple columns into a single column. Let's jump in. On our spreadsheet, I want to combine all the names from three separate teams into a single column. We can do this using the to call function. This function has only one required argument, which is the array you're looking to combine. To enter the array, you can simply highlight all of your data and click enter. And you'll see all of our columns have been combined. You'll notice a value of zero appears at the bottom because we have an empty cell for team three. To care for this, we can take a look again at the to call function and look at the second argument. Based on the number value you add here, you can choose to ignore blanks, errors, or blanks and errors within your array. Since we just have errors here, I'll enter the number one. And if I click enter again, you'll see the value of zero has disappeared. Then you'll notice the way that the to call function is combining these columns is by giving it a row priority. For example, Joe, Tim, and Ruth are combined first in the all teams column, followed by Matt, Julie, and Robert. If we want to switch this to a column priority, we can reopen the to call function and look at the final optional argument. You'll notice the scan by row is what's selected as default, but if I enter the value true and click enter, You'll see Excel has now combined these values by scanning the columns within the array. You can also combine the to call function with other functions in Excel. So for example, we can wrap the to call function in the unique function, add a closing parentheses and click enter. Now let's see what happens if I add a duplicate value in the array for the name Robert. After clicking out, you'll see that value wasn't added. But if I change this name to Steve, for example, you'll see Steve was added at the very end because it's not a duplicate value. One other function you could add is the sort function. So if I type sort at the beginning of my formula, add one final closing parentheses and click enter, you'll see these values are now sorted alphabetically. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip in Excel today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.